After a rare scoreless first half, these teams now just looking for something as the second half gets underway. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. It's a foot race. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Jets. Well, these two teams battled through a scoreless first half. Finally, a breakthrough here in quarter number three. And I just wonder how that played for both of them psychologically. Because when you battle through a scoreless first half, now you know that every possession is increasingly crucial. Who can put points on the board, make the other team chase? Wonder if you get a lift and if they get deflated a little bit. Extra point from McManus is good. And it's now a 7-0 game. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. This fielded right at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Now the attention turns back to the Rams offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. From the 22 now, here's second down and seven. Here's Moon. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. The Jets take over first and 10 at the 25-yard line. First down, Greer. And he spins free. And they're working inside the 15-yard line before it's all set and down. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. A shotgun snap for Greer. Throw left side, take it in by Jefferson. And quickly, they get to the line. On second down, it's Taylor. A good display of power, but it will only get him just inside the five to the four. It'll definitely be a disappointment to come out of this starting position with just three points. They need to try to dial something up now, third and ten. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Taylor. will take this one in. Touchdown, New York. And the thing you have to love about Jonathan Taylor He's a shifty speed guy most of the time when you hand him the football, but he's not coming off the field when you get down near the goal line because he's as tough and gritty as they come. And he finishes things off here by getting into the end zone. Now McManus for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14 0. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was capped off by a Jonathan Taylor touchdown. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Duvernay going to sit on this in the end zone, so it'll come out to the 25. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you, an interception's result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Got Dobbs over the middle. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's the Rams trailing, but they do have the football as we start the fourth and final quarter. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And it's scooped up by the Jets. He's across midfield. And a big return will get him all the way down to the 
35. Okay, this isn't one where you want to take the game tape and hold it up as an example, do you? I mean, you talk about frustrating all the way through, and that last error, I think that crystallizes it, doesn't it? Absolutely. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10, and mark him at the 5. Touchdown, and the Jets have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. McManus's point after is good, and that makes the score 21 to zip. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. Now move. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And now this ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. I don't know how many times, not just in my playing career, but you and I working together, have we ever heard a coach say, you know, I just don't have that play on my call sheet. And that's really what we had here. That was a big hole they were trying to get out of. Yeah, big gain still a ways to go, though. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. An excellent return that time, 26 yards. And the Jets will have a short field to work with as they take over first and 10. Gets by him, and now a little daylight shifts by him. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10, and mark him at the 5. Throwing now, Greer. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Stephon Diggs. A touchdown on a kick return and now one through the air. And the Jets have opened up a four-touchdown lead here in the fourth. Extra point from McManus is good. And that makes the score 28 to nothing. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. He's got a man complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 33 yards that time. And the Rams Moon to throw. And this is caught on the sideline. Are the feet in? They are. What a catch. And now it appears that the referee's been buzzed, and we'll get a review of this. So the officials and the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. Play action. It's Moon. And this one is incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Now Moon. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. 
So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. half bring as we are now back underway. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. And we thought this game had the potential to be tight. Maybe not this tight, scoreless, as we start the third quarter. And I love the way you use the word tight. I'm going to take it a little bit different direction here because it's not just tight on the scoreboard. I think both offenses have been tight in how they've played this game. No one's been loose. No one's been free. They've got to find a way to make some plays, and I don't think you do it if you're really tight in everything that you're doing in the game. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Cruz throw taken in by Diggs. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Operating in the red zone now, Greer. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jazz. Justin Jefferson from 19 yards away. And the Jets have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. He's got it, and the Jets lead 7-0. So that drive, four plays. And it was all capped off by Justin Jefferson's touchdown reception. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's scooped up by the Jets. And they'll be at the 18-yard line. Great field position here in the red zone. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Touchdown! Dawson Knox, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So this Charles here, a tight game through the first two quarters, but they come out in the second half and really took the fight to them. And you and I both know that in the locker room at halftime, both sides' head coaches emphasize the first five minutes of the second half, getting out and establishing yourselves. One team has definitely done that. Now McManus for the extra point. Good to make it 14 0. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone.
after the touchdown. Here's McManus now to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that's quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Throwing again, Winston on second and ten. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Ferguson. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. First target, first catch, and a first down. Final minute now of the third quarter. Play fake, Winston. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and it's scooped up by the Jets. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. Every week we hear talk about create turnovers, create turnovers. In particular, they wanted to force some fumbles. They got one right there. And it shows you how the game has changed over time. It used to be good enough for a guy to get a sack of a quarterback in the pocket. Now, if you come to the sidelines and you didn't knock the ball free, your coaches are upset with you, all right? So if you're a quarterback, it starts all the way back in the youth leagues. Take, take care of the ball, take care of the ball, because here come the defenders. Back to the air, Greer on second down. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Rolling to his right. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. T. Higgins, 31 yards. And the Jets are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. He was able to move around and found some vision to throw the football. And how about how he ended it? Boy, he had some zip on that throw. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to have an arm like that. Results in the touchdown here. Great play offensively. and push the offense backwards a bit. Another attempt now from five yards further back. No, oh, and the increased distance may have cost him there. No good. Brandon McManus set to kick off. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Now Hester will get a shot. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Charger drive about to get going. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles, if they're going to try to pull. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. It's Shaq Thompson here with a pick, and they're going to be set up in the red zone at the 15. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And, Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They thought they got him not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And 
they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their offense a great shot. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's Jet football as they've got the lead here, and we get set to begin quarter number four. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Stephon Diggs, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets are able to add on to that lead. Extra point from McManus is good. And that stretches the lead all the way up to 27. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Here comes Devin Hester bringing it out. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slam and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kareem Jackson. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a jet touchdown. But not only is his defense pitching a shutout, now they're contributing points themselves. I mean, they have really put together what's almost been a perfect effort here in this one. I love how you express that. They've absolutely exceeded expectations in this one. And even better than their play, it's been their effort. Even with the win in their back pocket already, every one of those guys is still out there fighting like it's a tie game. Hester to return from his end zone. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return. And oh, Jameis intercepted a third time. It's Shaq Thompson here with a pick. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. Now a first down throw, Greer. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. And this will be caught, and the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Even though they've got this big advantage, Charles, they are not taking their foot off the gas pedal right now. But I think what we're seeing is the result of all their great preparation and great practice time during the week. And even though it seems like this is a great chance to pull people back and maybe, you know, not try and score a few more times, they don't want to do that. I think they're enjoying what they're seeing, the collective effort, and they want to play it all the way out. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. At this point, partner, things looking pretty bleak. They still haven't scored here in the fourth quarter, facing the big deficit. I just, what silver linings, what can they look to do here offensively? You know, it's funny, I talked about this with a coach in the offseason and kind of had this scenario, like, what feels good to you and what feels good to your team? You're down big. And Winston lost the football, and it's scooped up by the Jets. And they'll be inside the red zone with a ball at the 16-yard line. Well, partner, I think it's safe to say they could mark this down as extremely frustrating. Here we are in the fourth quarter, and that last play, that turnover, they get and they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. As that lead just swells and swells. Look, this has been dominance in all three phases, offense, defense, and special teams. So don't we have to give a lot of credit, not just to what we've seen today, but the preparation in advance, coaching staff, commitment by the players to the game plan, and being ready to go in this one? You're exactly right. Clean sweep. 
And boy, they're going to celebrate this one after it's over. And on the other side, this is the game film you just flush and never go back and review. Accepted. So the Jet offense staying on the field. They're going to go for two. They'll look to throw. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. Personally, I'd rather see him kick the extra point there than to go for two, but it almost feels like there's a story within the story here. I mean, this isn't college. You know, size of victory, that matters in those games. Here, all you have to do is win by one point. That's all that you need. Instead, they go for it, get two. You got some pretty ticked off folks on the other sideline now. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. Well, I hate to say it, but at this point, I don't really know that they're playing to win with this deficit in the fourth quarter. They're just trying to erase that zero on the scoreboard, Charles, and get some type of momentum to carry into the film session tomorrow. If you get any type of point, there he goes left side. Yeah, he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. A big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Jameis to throw it. Over the middle, this one into the hands of Hester. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Winston now. Finding Knox there, complete. Seven yards there at a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Now a second and ten. Here's Winston. He shakes him off. But now he's swallowed up and taken down. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory. So that'll do it for Charles Davis, the rest of our crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of Madden Ultimate Team on EA. Off. But now he's swallowed up and taken down. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss.
So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory. So that'll do it for Charles Davis, the rest of our crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. It's a win for the J-E-T-S, as we say so long from MetLife Stadium. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And Charles, a scoreless first half. How does that change how you assess things here moving forward? Well, it doesn't change it a whole lot because we're still scoreless, which means you're starting from zero again. So you just have one half to play instead of two. What I would look at my play sheet, though, and see is something that maybe loosens things up for my guys, gets a smile on their faces, and gets them going to begin the second half. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Now here's a throw that's complete. It'll be a pick up of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. He's going to try and do this himself. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Now second and nine. Out of the gun, Greer. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 29-yard line. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Greer operating from the gun. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. 
So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but the flag comes out for interference. And now you're set up right on the doorstep of the goal. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Jonathan Taylor punching it in from a yard away. And the Jets go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. McManus's point after is good, and that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. Well, Charles, you and I said at intermission, feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored, and now it's up to them to answer. How do they respond here with their first drive of the second half? Well, bottom line is they just saw the ball go in the end zone against their defense, and they saw what good offense looks like. They believe they've got a good offense as well. From the best plays you've got to the top performers you have, and try to move that ball down the field for an answering score. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's Dolphin football, but they trail here as we get set for the fourth. On first and ten, Winston. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And from the 42 now, here's second and two. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Meanwhile, Winston's throw into the hands of Kirk. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Brandon's okay what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. Winston to throw. A short throw to Ingram. Very sharp here to start this drive, three for three. Yeah, I like the way he's running this two-minute drill. Very sharp, very precise in throwing the football. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's going to take to the charge of his home. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go for different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Well, this crowd doing their best to make a lot of racket. It's third and five. Here's Winston. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. A short throw to Ingram. Fighting his way through contact. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That's a nice job right there, partner, because they were able to work down the middle of the field, working in the seams, because I think defensively, they were guarding the sidelines, trying to keep them from getting out of bounds. They took what they gave them, and it was successful. Now Winston. Oh, no, it's the football. And now this ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. Winston's throw here, taken in by Ingram. It didn't check off every box, but the most important one, got the clock stopped, getting out of bounds. It may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. Winston. Taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Desperation time. Winston on fourth down. Crossing right and he hits his man. It's Jones. 
And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. We got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he's going to lose yardage here back at the eight. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They'll roll him out right. That's caught by Davis. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And After a rare scoreless first half, these teams now just looking for something as the second half gets underway. And the Jets going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First and 10, Taylor now. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Now the offense moving quickly to the line. Here's Greer now on second down. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. And a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Justin Jefferson, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Extra point from McManus is good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. So here are the Bengals now as they get their first possession of this second half. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. Opting to run again here with White. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's the Bengals. They've got the football, but they trail here as we get rolling in quarter number four. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. to throw is Prescott. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, the other day they told us, when well, we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point, and they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. The Bengals bring out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. 
And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Jet offense about to take over as they head out onto the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Game. Awesome. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. To the right side, this is Taylor. Brought down around the 16 or 17. Showed some tough running, but couldn't free much space. Play fake. Now Greer to throw. Looking for Knox on the crossing route. It's complete. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Fourth quarter down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. And it'll slither by. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And they'll indeed take a knee. Ball at the 24 and a second and 11. Running straight ahead, Taylor. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. And this is caught, and that could seal it. It's a touchdown. What a huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And Brandon, when they watch the film after this week, they'll be very proud of every rep if they close this game out, just a few steps remaining, they can't relax just yet. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So Dak Prescott in the offense. Down by two touchdowns. 65 seconds remaining. They've yet to score all game long, but now they need to do so twice in short order to have a shot. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Prescott. That's taken in by Knox. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So with under 30 seconds to play, this is the game right here. And now the Jets are going to get this one, and that might be all she wrote. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. 
They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down at the two. So close. A big pick up there. And without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. Down to a knee goes Greer, and that should be the final act in this contest. Taylor will score. Touchdown, New York. And the thing you have to love about Jonathan Taylor, he's a shifty speed guy most of the time when he handed the football. But he's not coming off the field when he get down near the goal line because. So no scoring in our first half. What will the second half bring as we are now back underway? Sheds off the tackle. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. Off play action, Greer. He's going to find Jefferson open downfield. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Bruce throw taken in by Diggs. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. In the red zone now, Greer. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. T. Higgins, a 20 yard touchdown. And the Jets have moved out in front. McManus's point after is good. And that makes the score 7 0. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it was T. Higgins who capped the drive with the touchdown reception. On oh, the return is Cooper from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So here's the Bills offense now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. Jameis now on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. A run right side. It's Bettis. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. But that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Forcey in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Forced out to his left. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. For a big guy, Jameis sure can move. Did a nice job there picking up the first down with his legs. Up the middle they run with Bettis. Shaq Thompson on the tackle that time. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. We have played three quarters. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. The Bills have the football, but they trail here as we begin quarter number four. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. 
And that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back, on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. On gain of 19 yards. First down, Bill. They'll throw again. Winston. Right back to Cooper, and he got him again. And he'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Eight yards on the big Got it. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. They come up now on second and two. Now Winston. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And Knox is going to have a Bills first down as he's down at the 17-yard line. Back to throw. Oh, no, he lost the football. And now this ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. They'll look to throw. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and let your offense catch its breath. And that's us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle. So they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Winston. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. He's unable to complete it there. Just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the ball when they start to finish. Yeah, make sure you what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is it just off? And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. It's picked up a live ball here, remember. Down the numbers. There he goes. And he dives into the end zone and gets the two points. Well, very often you can point to one play being the difference in a game, Charles, and this might very well be the one right there. And an extra point is supposed to be simple, but when you don't protect well and that breaks down, it becomes that much harder and that costs them. Up the middle, here's Taylor. Down to about the 37. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Spins by, and they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. And here's a big one now, trying to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They snap it to Greer. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Jets first down, and that should just about do it. And he's got this to Jefferson. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. A big game there, and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. They'll run here with Foreman. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. Sometimes you get a first to go, and you're back near the 7, 8, 9-yard line, and you start thinking...